Greetings, 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 royal family. Welcome back to the channel and thanks for clicking on the video. Tim Norman of Welcome to Sweetie Pies, Miss Robbie's son, has been arrested. He's been arrested on federal charges stemming from the 2016 killing of his nephew, 18 year old Andre Montgomery. Tim Norman, uh, you know, he starred on the popular own reality series with his mother and his family. He was charged with conspiracy to use interstate commerce facilities, AKA a cell phone in the commission of a murder for hire resulting in death. This is being reported by WAPT. The reality star, he was charged by a federal complaint on August 11th and was placed under arrest Tuesday in Jackson, Mississippi. He is currently being held in the Madison County Detention Center. Now, federal authorities, they claim that in 2014, Tim secured a $450,000 life insurance policy on his teenage nephew, making himself the sole beneficiary. According to the complaint, Norman, Tim Norman, is believed to have conspired with an exotic dancer named Tara, Teria Ellis, as well as others, to set Andre up to be murdered. In the days lead, leading up to his death, uh, Teria Ellis, she was residing in Memphis, Tennessee. She communicated with Andre that she planned to meet him in St. Louis. So on March 13th, 2016, the day before Andre's murder, Tim Norman allegedly also flew to St. Louis himself from his home in Los Angeles. The following day, Taria, the exotic dancer, and Tim allegedly used temporary phones, like burner phones, to communicate with each other as well as track Andre's whereabouts. Now, this is being reported by multiple outlets. This is being reported by, um, from page six, a, a couple of other media local uh, outlets are talking about it as well. Anyway, immediately after learning of Andre's location, Taria placed a phone call to Tim. By 8 p.m., Andre, who was also featured on Welcome to Sweetie Pies, uh, before passing, was shot and killed. Whew. Wow, I can't even believe this. This is wild and this is crazy. So the page six is reporting this. Uh, another source, Riverfront Times, also says in 2016, Norman was living in L.A. Phone records obtained by investigators show that leading up to Andre's murder, Tim and a Memphis-based dancer named Taria communicated over burner phones. Ellis also started contacting Montgomery. That's Taria. She started contacting Andre, sending her uh, Instagram account handle and texting that she would be visiting St. Louis. So one of the text messages said, I'm on my way in town. This is what she wrote him in an email, excuse me, on March 10, 2016, according to court records. Three days later, Tim flew into St. Louis, as I said before, and booked a room at the Chase Park Plaza Hotel. The next day, March 14th, Taria contacted Andre to figure out where he was. This is according to the complaint. Cell phone records showed that he texts her the address of a house. This is Andre texts the exotic dancer that Tim was affiliated with, right? He's supposed to be meeting up with Taria. So Andre texts Taria the address of a house where he was. She was asking where's his location. She wants to see him. So they have that um, in the report as well. And then Taria called Tim after she got the location of where Andre was. That night at 8.02 p.m., Andre was shot to death at the house on Natural Bridge. That's the location. And investigators believe that Taria was there. Location data from her burner phone put her at the scene and in one of Andre's final phone calls, he spoke to his girlfriend who later told investigators that she could hear a woman's voice in the background. One minute after the 18 year old Andre was shot and killed, Taria, the girl made another call to Tim. Oh my God. So the criminal complaint says, despite being at the scene of Andre's murder at 8.02 p.m., Taria's first phone call was not to police, but to rather Tim at 8.03 p.m., at which time her phone location data showed she was driving in a location consistent with her returning home 
in Memphis, Tennessee. Again, that's the criminal report. Phone records would then show the phone moving south on Interstate 55. Tim's phone showed him flying back to L.A., arriving early the morning after the killing. That same day, March 15, 2016, both burner phones went dark. This is what authorities are saying. Oh, my God. I, I, my palms are sweating. My heart is beating so fast, y'all. So back in Memphis, right, Taria began depositing money, $3,020 in a checking account that previously had a negative balance and another $4,340 in a savings account opened the same day. On March 17, 2016, she deposited another $1,900. On March 22nd, she, Taria, and her mother and daughter flew to L.A. There's not much information in the court records about, you know, what they did there, but authorities say location data for her mom's phone showed that at least one occasion they were with Tim. Oh, my God. At the end of April 2016, Norman R wired, that's Tim, he wired Taria $700. Tim waited a week to try to collect on his now deceased nephew's life insurance policy. Oh, my God. This is what the police and the authorities are saying. Then on March 21st, 2016, he called the bank, but he never provided all the documentation required and still hasn't gotten the money. This is according to court records. He's now being held without bond at a jail in Madison County, Mississippi. He and Taria have been charged with conspiracy to use interstate commerce facilities. That's a phone in commission of murder for hire resulting in death. The case is being investigated by St. Louis police and the FBI. Oh my gosh. Again, Page six is the source along with Riverfront Times. So these are two separate sources that I read several times in detail because I couldn't even believe what I was reading. I, I don't even know what to say. Royal family, if you guys heard this, let me know what you think. I, I really pray to God that this is not true. I mean, as crazy as that sounds, all this evidence, but... I don't even know what to say, y'all. I, I just wanted to give uh, this update because I do love the Montgomery family. You know, I, I can't even imagine to feel or think what Miss Robbie is thinking or feeling. This is this is crazy. This is absolutely nuts. All right, royal family, I, I got nothing else to say. Drop down in the comments, share your thoughts and prayers. Until next time, peace.